Shit, you're coming at my speakers. One sec. I'm coming at your ass. Coming at your motherfucking ass. Now you're in my ears. Hey, I'm coming at your ass. Is that a good What's the outfit Tyson? you got going on? What is that? What is what? This is me. <laughs> this is all me. This is what I wore to work today. <laughs> Did hey, you get fired immediately? <laughs> Any uh, blue collared slobs need their fucking dick sucked in the porta potty? I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is in, def- in defiance of their uh, their trans transgender h- hate. Yeah, this week I uh, hey anybody want to get their dick sucked by the Martian man? Just going to porty potty number three. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, Eli's wearing a yellow Martian hat and sick aviators. You go into porty potty number three and knock on the toilet. The toilet spins around like one of those old school bookshelves and you're in this beautiful log cabin with a beautiful natural fire and, I, and there's a glory hole in front of you. <laughs> you walk in on zip, zip, <laughs> we, can add a, we can add a zip sound in there and post. And then next thing you know, you put your fucking ding dong in there, soft. You don't put it in hard. You don't want to startle the person on the other side of the glory hole. So you stick it in soft. Stick and your soft about, slug in there. You're about to suck it, and then you look, and there's something written on the guy's shaft. Wait, I thought you're the one putting your dick in the... I'm telling him just a story. <laughs> you're, it's back and forth. You don't know who you are. Oh, I see. Okay, go on. So, you real, you're about to suck it, and you realize there's something written sloppily and sharpie on the shaft of his dick. So, you put on your reading glasses from Walmart... And it says, suck it, retard. (laughs) And you know what to do. (laughs) You know just what to do. You You got to get better glasses. You got (laughs) to fucking throw out those Walmart lenses. You take, you put your readers, you put your uh, readers on and it says, suck it, genius. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And this has been a sponsored ad, a sponsored ad by Lenscraft. Lenscrafters. Mm -hmm. Lens crafters, you have the ability to read. Now, let's do it together. <clears throat> let's give you the ability to suck, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're about to suck a dick. You think the guy called you retarded, but put your lens crafters readers on. He called you genius. That's pretty cool. It might be condescending, but it's still a little less mean. <laughs> lens crafters. <laughs> Do they Hell have yeah. a tagline? Does lens crafters have a tagline? Um, I don't know. Should we uh, look that up? Yeah, I'm going to Google it. Google it. Google it. Lens crafters. Let me just try and let me get the old improv skills. Lens crafters. Uh, put on glasses. I'm an uh, idiot. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Still Damn. got it. You work in advertising. I'm still sharp. Oh, this is perfect. See what you love. Love what you see. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought it was a corn on the cob coming through that glory hole, and I hate corn on the cob. My mom knows that. <laughs> I put on my lens crafters. It's a big, juicy dick. <clears throat> lens crafters. They've got see more what you stuff. love, love what you see. Lens crafters should use the same slogan as fucking pizza pops. They've got more stuff. Are they still using that one? I did a pizza pops uh, video about a month ago. Oh, I thought it meant maybe in like college. Maybe. <clears throat> Dakota, tell me a, yeah. a bad tell me a bad joke. A bad joke? Yep. I could just go over several I've made in the last few episodes of the podcast. Well, just come up with one on the spot. <laughs> You're a comedian. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> come no up pressure. With a, come up with a joke on the fucking spot. <laughs> um shit, man. I don't know. I can't do that. All right, like a did, knock knock uh, joke. What do you I, see when you ask me that? I know you have something locked no, in. No, I don't. I really no? I have a I have something to go with after the punchline. 
Oh, uh, uh, like a tag? Well, it's a surprise, but um, <coughs> it, it doesn't have to be a real joke. It doesn't even have to have a, like a good punchline. Just do a basic setup that sounds like it could be a joke and then a punchline that makes no sense. Okay. Uh, this is literally not going to make any sense. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, man, this is really crashing and burning. That actually won't work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on! Fuck you! I have to look up a joke. I, I don't know. I don't know right. any like bad knock what, knocks um, or any. What I don't... did the uh, what did the um, the frogs? What did the frogs say at the condom dispenser? What ribbit? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you literally did have something perfectly set up for that. <laughs> I didn't have the joke. I just had the this. Well, that sounds like almost like a. I don't know. That sounds like a frog sound too, so it's extra perfect. It's a slide whistle. Okay, let's <clears throat> let's get. This is called improv. Make a joke thing. What did uh, the two Puerto Ricans guys say to the to the cat? What? Hey, can I have some of that food? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that slide whistle? I bought it for eight bucks at <laughs> nice. uh, at a bakery. <laughs> You look uh, absolutely mental right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on one of those uh, manic trips. <laughs> Do you still have a heart monitor on right now? Uh, <laughs> so, Eli, I thought he was wearing like a, a blue leotard, but he stands up and it's actually a bunch of wires connected to his chest that's monitoring his heart. I feel like I got the tits of a fucking dog right now. Yeah, I got these nodes hooked up. So um, <clears throat> I had a doctor's appointment. Literally, I call, so I call my doctor. I'm like, oh, you know, I've been having some fucking neck pain. You know what I mean? I think I pinched a nerve in my neck. Yeah. And she's like, uh, well, your family has a history of high blood pressure, and I see you've had high blood pressure, so it's, I think it's the high blood pressure. And I'm like, well, <clears throat> it happened suddenly. I was having sex. I told her, I said, it happens when I'm aroused. I'm like, when I start getting aroused, like after I had sex one night, and then my neck like had this sharp pain. And, yeah. like, and every time I get aroused now, I start to get a pain in my neck. I just I'm going to tell you right now, from the sound of that doctor, you might want to get a second opinion from how yeah, so she sounds. <laughs> so she's like, we're going to put you on blood pressure medication. We're going to need to do some blood tests and you're going to need to come in and do an ECG scan. And we're going to put a heart monitor on your body for 72 hours. You can't take it off. It's not waterproof. So you can't shower. And then you come in and then we're going to do a stress test. And I'm like, I got fucking neck pains from busting nuts. You know, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Like I'm not dizzy. Yeah. I don't, I feel pretty good. I'm just, you know, and so my neck pains start to go away on their own. And I'm like, well, oh, fuck shit. This. I'm glad this is over, you know? <clears throat> and then um, they, they call me every day, every night trying to book me in. And I think that they're just going to, you know, I knew they were going to stick this stupid heart monitor on me. So I went in and they had to inject me with some shit. They literally lay me down. They're like, take off your clothes. There's, there's like a white man and an Asian woman. And the white man's like, take off your clothes and lay on the bed. And I'm like, well, uh, how? And he's like, just take off your clothes and lay on the goddamn bed. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, so I lay on the bed, <clears throat> and the, and this woman, this Asian woman, I, you know, I'm not a racist or anything, but I didn't understand what the flip she was saying. <laughs> No, literally, she's like, okay, so A and B scenario, like, this could happen, blah, 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 and if this is, a, if something, no, then we have to do the B, C, and B, D scenario, in which we would inject you with a bubble, and I'm like, uh, what do you mean? She's telling me the she's going when you can't follow someone, and yeah, it's not like so a fun. race thing, it's like a language barrier. She kept saying she was going to inject me with the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, am I in a, like, am I in a Philip K. Dick novel right now? You're fucking going to inject me with the bubble? What the fuck is the bubble? <laughs> and she kept and I'm like, what's the bubble? She's like, oh, it's just a sub the, 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 the bubble. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Well, is so is I have a bubble in your bloodstream that they follow. I wish Catherine no. she would know. She's she has no, it, a medical. It's some sort of like sodium oxidate 
<clears throat> okay. like thing that I guess it like highlights my heart better when they, she's right. like, we only have two. She's like, we only have two. All of a sudden she turned into like, we an only have two star. bubbles left. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two bubbles left in the whole universe. And we're about to use one on you. Mr. We're Godfrey. about to waste one on you. <laughs> we're about to waste one on your pig ass. <laughs> So don't no, turn. She, no, she's like, we only have two minutes. Once the bubble's in you, we only have two minutes to take a look, and then it's gone. And I'm like, oh shit. <clears throat> so they put the bubble in me, <laughs> and then, and then I'm laying on my side, and this like dainty Asian woman is, uh, you know, like pushing this the ECG like um, ultrasound on my heart with like the blue goo. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she's rubbing on my heart. And all I'm thinking of is like, uh, this woman's touching me right now. I'm, I want to fuck. I want to, I want to fuck so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like touching me with this thing. Her back is pressed up against my back. Cause she's little and I'm big. And then all I can hear is like this thing, like actually records audio of your heart too. So every like 30 seconds I hear like, <laughs> Help me! <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> <laughs> you did too much blow! <laughs> <laughs> But like literally it's like the most stressful thing. I'm laying on my side, like my gut's kind of hanging out. I'm wearing like slacks. And all I can think of is like maybe I got a shot. <laughs> so a, a fucking her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this other if this other man doctor wasn't in here looking at me you should fuck him i should Go tell him. him to get hey you mind getting out of here for a minute <laughs> hey you mind skedaddling me in the broad or trying to talk you <laughs> damn dude it sounded like quite the ordeal i went in there expecting just a 10 minute appointment I was in there for 45 minutes getting poked prodded jabbed jibbed slipped slided in a slopped so I got slopped. I got to I got sloppy toppy on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> there was a homeless guy behind the dumpster on the way out. I said, I need I gotta, to fuck somebody. I need, do. To fuck, I need to fuck someone's mouth right now. <laughs> Don't worry. I got the bubble. You're so fine. I took, I took him out of the wheelchair and threw him in the dumpster and closed the dumpster. And I put a sock on the dumpster. <laughs> you know when you put a sock on the dumpster? Some and then you other wrote, homeless... <laughs> And then you wrote your genius on your dick and shoved it through the hole. <laughs> I painted his throat with Sharpie from my dick. <laughs> it's a genius backwards. In the inside of his throat. If you took a camera in there. Yeah, it's genius backwards. Is he on edge? <laughs> Hell yeah. I come back there blackout drunk two nights later. Hey, where's Sion Edge? Where's Sion Edge? I'm looking for some slop top. Sion Edge, the homeless man who I threw in the dumpster. He's my boyfriend. He's at, We're actually dating now. He's my doctor. Dr. Sion Edge. Here's my results, doctor. Dumpster doctor. <laughs> Damn. So this was so this was like you just following up then from the previous <clears> neck pain. So it wasn't even like an urgent thing. <clears throat> no, my neck pains have been gone for like three weeks. Like that's it, so it annoying, was, man. It was Fuck. a fucking pinched nerve. And then I so I guess my grandfather had a bad heart. And it's worth uh, checking out. So they put my dad through the same rigmarole. And then my dad, he's like, they said I got the heart of a lion. Did he fuck? uh <laughs> He fucked yeah. Dr. Sionage as well. Sionage, yeah. Yeah, he said he got the cock of a lion. That's why he was picking pubes out of his fucking teeth for three days. Stupid <laughs> joke. <laughs> Stupid joke. Hey, man, there's some good ones in there. <laughs> there's something in there. There's speaking something. Of, speaking of the dick of a fucking lion, <clears throat> you ever seen the pussy of a dolphin? No, I, I've heard things, though. <laughs> You've heard whispers in yeah, the community. I've heard, I've heard whispers and remnants. Of uh, have you, so we got to look it up. Dolphin vagina. I want to tell you about it. Do we got to look up a picture? Yeah, but it's hard to find. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> I found a goodie. I can't wait till we uh, start doing the podcast in person. I want to have like a TV so we can Google things. And stuff. Yeah. So here's the picture. Take a look. The meme that comes along with it's ridiculous. Hold on. Do you have it on yours? I just sent it to you. Okay. <clears throat> it 
Let's take a look here. Jesus. Read what it says. I'm just saying, dolphins got better pussy than human than humans. Human pussy looks nasty. Dolphin pussy cute as fuck. I'd suck on a dolphin's pussy. <laughs> so apparently dolphin pussies have like five different sets of labia lips <clears throat> because it pushes like salt water out. And so what it does is it has like it sucks the dick in and pushes the salt water out. So it's like getting your dick sucked while you're fucking. Nice. It looks so weird because it it just looks the photo. It's very pale and it looks like a close up of like a 90 year old lady's vagina. Really a 90 year old white, like a very white, like a, yeah, like a woman, yeah. like a bloated, like a bloated nine year old woman that washed up on shore. Yeah, to quote one of Louis C.K.'s funniest lines on ONA, marble white vagina lips. That's what that looks like. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it does look like that, but <clears throat> apparently they're pretty uh, amazing. Pretty special. <laughs> pretty amazing to fuck. Pretty special. Pretty special to fuck. But it doesn't look a, like a bad a pussy. Dolphin, as, far, as far as animal is, vaginas go, that doesn't look bad, does it? No, it looks pretty good. Now, here's the question. What does a dolphin's dick look like? Uh, I think it's that. probably not as nice. Oh my god, dear lord. Okay, let me look at this up. Dolphin look, penis looks horrible. The mechanics of dolphin sex, all the dirty details you need to know. <clears throat> There's a lot of dolphin erotica, too. By the way, I, uh, I can't photo. see it. Where's the dolphin penis? I, I need a fresh one. one, too. Not like a oh, it's fresh. Don't worry. Okay, <gasps> oh my <laughs> god, damn, that thing looks amazing. That thing looks like it would make your fallopian tubes come. <laughs> <laughs> you want it you know like it's got a lot of fat girth and the foreskin's peeled way back but the, the tip is like a tail like if you, you could get into all the nooks and crannies of your crooked granny so what it looks like it's yeah it's very thick at the base and then as it goes on it like tapers off into this small tentacle almost yeah it looks great that looks great yeah. that looks like that makes me believe that dolphins are the evolved forms of humans they got that um, big, they get that big cerebral fucking cortex, uh, pine, what is it called? The pineal gland. Yeah. <clears throat> so they're like constantly hallucinating and in the fourth dimension, but then their sex <clears throat> organs are just built like brick shit houses. Perfect for sex. Did you ever hear of that, um, very dubious scientific study that this guy did, um, where he, he got like a beach house they designed this beach house so that like the bottom floor was all water and this lady I, I'm, I'm assuming she was like a dolphin expert and this guy hired her to live with this dolphin and potentially teach it the like english language um english language uh or just how to communicate and then i think they end up fucking <laughs> what happened I don't know. I forget the name of the story. Shit. I, I've heard about this before. It, like the, she made love to the dolphin like several yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. Dolphin study sex. You could probably find that. will probably come up. There's a lot. Like the thing is dolphins are the only like form of bestiality that's accepted by mainstream media. <laughs> is it accepted? Yeah. You can find dolphin porn on showcase at night. Red Shoe Diaries <laughs> fucking <laughs> David Duchovny like I found that dolphin down by the river. And she opened her pussy wide up for me. I dove in. <laughs> yeah, Kathy, wait. Here's an article. Kathy woman, McConaughey. Woman admits she had sex with a dolphin as part of a NASA-funded study. Yeah, Margaret Howe. Loved NASA. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how but do dolphins make me come in space? <laughs> yeah, this I don't bitch, know why, this I don't know why NASA just funded it. That's weird. <laughs> do uh, dolphins make me come in space while I'm eating my Noni's banana bread? Just all her favorite things in one. <laughs> Damn, Scient man. I love this scientific studies. Let me read a bit of this. Margaret Howe Lovett had loved animals since she was a little girl. One of her first memories is being given a book about a talking cat by her mother when she was just a child. Okay, hold on. Let's get to the good stuff here. No, no, no I'm still into it. It sparked a, lo a lifelong fascination with animals and how they communicate and led to her becoming a key part of a NASA-funded experiment in the 1960s. Margaret explained, It was a story about a cat who could... Oh, I don't give a fuck about your dumb cat story. I want to hear about dolphin sex. Yeah. Wait, let's hear. 
Um, Margaret's brother-in-law mentioned there was a secret lab at one of the islands where they were carrying out work with dolphins. Unable to resist, Margaret, who had just turned 20, had to drive nice. out there to have a look. Just a and little she was look. Greeted, yeah, just a little look. She was greeted by Gregory uh, Bateson. The dolphin. the dolphin. Hello, my <laughs> love. Welcome to the island of dolphin sex. <laughs> Okay, okay, hold on. Gregory I just want to find... <laughs> He's a beta fish? He's a, I love that. I'm an incel. <laughs> they won't fuck me in the dolphin world. They don't fuck me because I live in a glass ball by myself. Hold on, I'm reading this in the beginning. <sighs> oh, welcome to the island of misfit dolphin cock. Yeah, so I think the dolphin, what happened was, is the dolphin uh, developed a sexual attraction to her. And she had none to it? Ha! Huh. Yeah, I, I think so. I find that difficult to believe. So Typical she's like... incel, <clears throat> like, let down for the dolphin. He was an incel. You know what's so all. funny? <clears throat> it's like they're doing studies where they're like... Let's bring this horny 20-year-old girl in to fuck this dolphin for a couple weeks. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe Schmo living in his parents' basement, sipping on fucking Mountain Dew Code Red, playing World of Warcraft when his dick's got Cheeto dust over it. Why don't they do any scientific studies on him getting pussy? We wouldn't have any New Zealand shooters. Yeah. <laughs> I think the New Zealand shooter had nothing to do with him not fucking or Cheeto dust on his dick. But I see your point. <laughs> you do. You understand what I'm. You understand what I'm picking up, right? You are picking yeah. up what I'm putting down. <laughs> I'm picking it right up. Okay, we need to shift our studies on what happens if we give incels a bit, a, a, a sliver a of, bit pussy. of pussy. There's, a sl sh yeah, there should be a for a sliver of pussy like a charity. Yeah. Like pussy slivers. We should do a GoFundMe account for all these fucking incels out there. Whether you yeah. got a U-Haul or an AK-47, sign up for this GoFundMe, and we're going to get you a sliver of pussy for scientific research to find <laughs> out. Maybe they're good at sex, too. Maybe they're like, I'm really good at sex. I just never get the chance. <laughs> yeah. I don't get any pussy. I'm so good at eating pussy, I never even got the chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this should just stop future school shooters. What, just give give them what they want, <laughs> but it, <laughs> just give them pussy without teaching them how to how to how to acquire it consensually. Yes, that's true. That could backfire. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. <laughs> could make them more angry when you take the pussy away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you might create study. like a super Hitler. <laughs> That's the next study. What happens when we take the pussy away from the incel? He turns into the, the guy from Split. The beast. <laughs> the beast is what happens when you take the pussy away from the incel. <laughs> oh my. You've taken my pussy. Hmm. If I could kill you. Oh no, he's gone mad. He's attacking the scientists. He's killing them. <laughs> the beast isn't gonna like it when you take his pussy away. <laughs> oh, behave, Charlie. I'm sure the beast will be fine with not getting any more pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk smash. So Samuel Jackson trying to he's glad cheer his him dick up. Is, his dick is made of glass. Motherfucker, my <laughs> dick's made of glass. <laughs> His dick breaks every time he tries to fuck. <laughs> I've been trying to fuck. He's made of glass. <laughs> glass. And <laughs> with Bruce Willis, dude, he's drowning in the pussy. <laughs> yeah. He hates squirt. His only weakness is squirters. I say he's a cop, and he just shoots a. He shoots Samuel Jackson unlawfully. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're making. Well, he is. A, he, he's in uh, security in those movies, right? Or is he a cop? No, he's, he's a mall yeah. cop. Right. He's fucking Paul Blart Mall Carp. <laughs> I don't know what he is. <sighs> Good bit. Good bit. And that's the end of the Butt Boys bit of the week. Well, uh, oh yeah, I, I guess uh, this is a Patreon, right? Nah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, you want to do a full one? <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling really good. Yeah, you look good. 
<laughs> well, I got this fucking shit strapped to my chest. I might as well make the most of it. They're going to yeah. be like, <clears throat> they're like, what did you do um, Tuesday night uh, at about 630? <laughs> I was recording a podcast. <laughs> you should check it out. So, well, <clears throat> never your mind blood pressure that. spiked. <laughs> your blood pressure spiked and you almost flatlined three times. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was eating a lot of beef jerky <laughs> <laughs> and mainlining pre-workout. <laughs> Did you drink pre-workout before this? No, I was thinking about it, but then I realized like I have a heart monitor on and I'm not going to do a bunch of pre-workout <laughs> yeah, and then seems... not work out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no wonder you're having fucking neck spasms and... <laughs> no, I wasn't. I've never done the pre-workout. My friend That's gave right. it to me because he's just like, you should try it. It'll make you feel like you're going crazy. And I was like, well, I should do a Patreon episode like that. It's <clears throat> a good idea. You know? I'll, um, for that episode, I'll microdose. That's what we'll do. I'll microdose. You do the pre-workout. <sighs> That's a quite a combination. Yeah, that'd be a cool idea. Remember Creation? Gucci, <clears throat> Gucci, whatever that meant. Gucci, Gucci. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Anyone out there remember, uh, Creation? Remember old no? things? Remember that? Remember Pogs? Pogs? Crazy Remember Bones? Pog. Pogs were the perfect... The, apparently, Pogs were shaped after the perfect girth of a man's cock. Is that true? That seems like schoolyard myth, <clears throat> mythology. No, they actually... Mo- they got women to draw the diameter of what they think the perfect cock is. And that's what, what a Pog is. Damn. Look it up. I, I gotta swear get to some, God. I gotta get some Pogs to compare. Get a Pog. <laughs> can, you, can you still P- buy pogs you can buy p-a-w-g pogs fat ass white girl <laughs> they're for sale <laughs> they're up for sale everything that you know is up for sale Wait, they, were called, noise conspiracy. Uh, they were called milk caps i've never heard them by that name that was back before they were cool that was back in the 70s motherfucker they, were, oh, literally, they were literally milk caps Oh, okay. And then they rebranded. So the tops of milk bottles were modeled after what these <laughs> milk mo- these housewives housewives in the 50s considered to be their perfect penis. Okay. So it starts from there, from glass milk. It starts at home. Like it does. It always, it always starts at home. <clears throat> oh, shit, man. Shit, shit, shit. How you doing? How you enjoying the new uh, work schedule? Tuesday to Friday, baby. It's a good schedule. You want me to talk about it? If you want. What about... What about... What about I talk about this? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little... I've been a little anxious all week. <laughs> Literally, yeah, like, what, one, I got this shit strapped to my chest. I feel like I'm, like... I feel like I'm on my way out, you know? Yeah, they're running... Someone's running experiments. They're literally running experiments on my body as I speak. Yeah. I kept pretending that I was wearing a wire at work today. I was like, uh, what's that word you like to say that starts with an N? <laughs> They're like, shut the fuck up. I'm not going to say it. I'm like, come on, try it. It'd be funny if they read back the recordings of the machine, of your heart monitor machine. And it is, in fact, just the N word from your heart. It's pumping out of my heart? <laughs> yeah. So what's in the I center? Can't, I can't help it. <laughs> we do like a nice emotional movie. <laughs> the man was born with a heart that can only pump blood to the N-word. <laughs> I'm trying. I got no hate in my brain. It's all in my heart. It's all in my body. <laughs> One man who wasn't racist, but his heart was. <laughs> Yeah, they, they give a transplant, a heart transplant, like <laughs> from a, some dead racist guy that they gave the electric chair to. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to find out why you've suddenly dis- had all these uh, racist tendencies, Mr. Johnson. So we're going to put you up to an ECG. <laughs> this is the heart monitor blasting the N word back at you. And that man was Kramer. He went on to play Kramer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Michael Richards story. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it, Jerry. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You should come see my stand-up, Jerry. I fell asleep to watching Seinfeld last night. It was nice. It was a good change-up from my usual of watching a murder. Out in the streets, they called it murder. 
I uh, I love watching like I love watching The Simpsons or Seinfeld before I go to bed. Yeah, those are cozy shows. I like watching something I've already seen, but that I still like to watch again. Like It's Always yeah. Sunny is another one. Something familiar. La Familia. La Familia. La Familia. Uh, what do you think about the idea of cucking a woman? The lady cuck. The lady cuck. The reverse Uno on the lady with the old yeah, you cucking. Yeah, rever- you throw a reverse Uno card on the lady. Where you're <laughs> That's fucking, cucking. <laughs> you're, fucking a, you're fucking a girl and you, she's sitting there wiggling her weird pussy, you know, fiddling with her weird pussy in the corner of the room. And you're like, yeah. oh, yeah, her pussy's so much tighter than yours. It gets so much wetter than yours. And then the chick is like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that pussy good, right? That pussy better, right? <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds... I've never felt a pussy like that before. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes down. This sounds horrible. This dumb bitch has an awful pussy, not like yours. Your pussy better. Your yeah, that's why good. I don't think I could ever do that or a threesome or something with another girl. I'd be too concerned about uh, Buddy. my girlfriend. Buddy, I'd be sitting there like Spider Man, double web slinging at the same time. <laughs> Just dick soft, <clears throat> dick soft because I'm so scared, <laughs> yeah. but just double finger blasting Spider-Man style, <laughs> just fucking fountains, like WWE style firework squirts out of each pussy. No, wait, wait you're, you're, you're fucking the new girl. And then with your one hand, you have your Spider-Man action figure and you're fingering <laughs> your girlfriend with the action figure, like the yeah. hand of the action figure. I'm putting the Spider-Man action figure in the legs first so I can still see his head. <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 the old toy biz figure legs are breaking off in her pussy. <laughs> this is a dirty episode. <laughs> It's very dirty. <laughs> this is we one haven't of those, said any bad words, have we? This is one of those double uh, XL butt boys podcasts. <laughs> it means it's sexy. <laughs> uh, man, I love that prop. It's you know what though? It's just all the shit I like. I haven't even said a lot of the shit I wrote down this week, and it just is all dirty. It doesn't mean any. It just fuck the way she goes. I got a dirty ass mind. You do have a dirty mind. It's, yeah, I'm the. It's instead of the, a beautiful mind, it's the dirt, the dirty ass mind. Where the Russell dirty ass like fucking mind. <clears throat> he's sol- trying to solve this math equation at the bottom. He's like, I like pussy. I like pussy a lot. I like juicy pussy. It's uh, the exact same movie. He just likes pussy a little more. <laughs> he likes pussy a little more than Russell Crowe in a beautiful mind. Yeah. What about it's that good. scene from Gladiator? You know Which that one? scene. You know the one. No. You know the one where he goes back home and he sees his wife hanging and he kisses her <laughs> yeah. burnt feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's something, eh? That's something. That's that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this this heart monitor. It's sending. Whenever I say something something shitty, um, it sends an electrical shock into my heart. <laughs> I don't really like Gladiator. I watched that movie last year again. It's okay. Gladiator's dope. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. I'm not really into it. Isn't that where the why. MF Doom mask comes from? No, he was long before Gladiator. No. Wasn't he? I'm pretty sure. Was I'm, he 90s? Yeah, but, <clears throat> okay, so he wore a version. He wore the Doctor oh, Doom like, mask. Oh, like of originally. course, like a real gladiator mask. Yeah, I'm retarded. No, no, I don't no, 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 no. You're not retarded. He wore like a, a shitty version of like a Doctor Doom type mask in like '96 oh. when he first dropped. But the movie Gladiator. What time? When? When did that come out? 2000. He actually wore like a recreation of the mask from Gladiator for a long oh, time. Oh shit! Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's look it yeah. up just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Damn. You got it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So the, the MF Doom mask eventually became basically the Gladiator mask. That's cool. Shout out it's to a good mask. Boy. Yeah. Shout out to MF Doom, RIP. RIP. You know, that's just the way. That's just the way, the way she way goes. That's just the way she goes. <laughs> Shit ain't gonna be the fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way she goes. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. MF Doom. 
or IP motherfucker. Let me pull this out. I haven't pulled this out. What are you pulling out? You know what I'm out? thinking? Like, okay, this, look at this device. They, they give me this device that looks like an iPod from fucking 2002. Yeah. And they strapped six nodes to my tits like, like a female dog, <clears throat> also yeah. known as a bitch, but I didn't want to get salty. Um, don't they have Fitbits and shit that monitor your heart? Well, it's so funny how, like... Why do I have to wear this? The limitations in technology, like, in publicly funded... I'm talking truly out of my ass, but... No, no, no. You're on to (laughs) something. But, like, when... There is something to, like, when a private company gets involved. It's like when you go to a fucking... um, Yeah, like a doctor's office, and they're running, like, Windows 98. Yeah, they always are. And they always have the same fucking screensaver. Yeah. The and I get those... It was, like, a reliable OS, but... uh, Still, man, it's like it's crazy when you look at the tech and like the hardware yeah. there. It's so I behind. guess that's the thing. It's like, well, welcome, <clears throat> welcome to Canada, dude. We got free health care. It's just running on fucking Commodore sixty four. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure it's the same. I'm sure it's probably even worse in certain places in the U.S. But yeah. like, I bet you on like the Apple campus, there's probably a medical facility that's the most advanced shit you've ever seen. Oh yeah. Well, welcome yeah. to Canada where they're still giving you lead lead needles in the tip of your dick to treat syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what that reminds me of? Steve made me watch The Dark Side of the Ring, the episode, shit, I forget his name, you'll know it. The black guy who's a fucking New lunatic. Jack. Yeah. You yeah, watched I that? Watched it. I watched it, it was <clears throat> awesome, I loved that's it. That's an awesome series, eh? He's so funny, man. At the end of that, when they ask him, like, what do you picture? Like, if you had a movie, what's the final scene of your movie, of your life story? And he's like, shit, fucking being on a wheelchair, taking a bump of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's nuts. What, what is he like? Um, that famous promo he did in like Smoky Mountain Wrestling where he's like, He's like, a shout out, special shout out to OJ Sim- Simpson. A, n- a couple crackers dead. A couple honkies dead. <laughs> yeah, two less honkies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, everyone- I think he's even more subtle than that. He's like, two, he's like, two less, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's such a, it's like, honestly, one of the best wrestling promos of all time because the crowd fucking hates them for it. Yeah. That which because is like the point of wrestling, like hundred percent. They were heels. If that's the goal, if that's like the structure, this guy nailed it. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. New Jack was a big piece of shit, though. Like, yeah, he, and he did he, stab a guy. Yeah, I mean, he in stabbed, the ring. He, like he did a lot of awful things. Like I get yeah. there were some things like that he did that were like you could kind of spin it in a way where it made sense but there a lot of it is just like no you were a piece of shit asshole in the ring the only reason you worked is because the fans love to see you do brutal shit yeah yeah you know what i mean like yeah he made a name for himself but he was also a real big piece of shit in the ring yeah entertaining though it's a good then but like you gotta like back in the early 90s too um, a lot of wrestlers were bodybuilders and not wrestlers. They were just jacked as fuck and they would go right. into a wrestling ring and just toss people around not knowing moves and stuff like the, the, yeah. the road warriors and like even sting in the early days, they didn't know how to fucking wrestle. They just knew how to beat the shit out of people. And that's what they did. And people loved it, yeah. but they yeah. would beat the, they would beat jobbers like senseless. <clears throat> It's cool, man. I want to go to like an amateur, uh, wrestling match as soon as we're able what would my name be dressed like me right now? I don't know. The the, the gay Martian? <laughs> <laughs> Coming down to the ring with his heart monitor on. Pumping blood. He's. <laughs> you know what? I want to be a, a wrestling gimmick <clears throat> where I uh, do a bunch of GHB right when I get out. And then throughout the match, I get sleepier and sleepier until, <laughs> until I date rape myself and fall asleep. <laughs> I mixed up GHB with the one that uh, expands your asshole. What's that one? Poppers. You should poppers. Do that one. <laughs> Why aren't there combo pops that are just poppers and GHB? <laughs> That's brutal, actually. <laughs> no, don't invent that. <laughs> That's a horrible idea. <laughs> Not only does it make you fall asleep quick, but it makes your ace nice and loose. Damn, that's a yeah, that's an evil concoction to combine the two. Hundred percent. Throw a little, sh- throw a little. I'm sure they have been combined. Oh yeah, no, I mean probably recreationally. 
It sounds yeah. like it sounds like somebody's worst nightmare or an awesome night, you know, yeah. depending on who you are. But it's all about consent. That's true. That's something I preach all the time on this show. You do. I know. Episode Imagine I preach episode. the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it goes without saying. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> you cool. mind if I t you mind if I take a quick piss? Yeah, for sure. Uh, what time are we at? I wonder if we can just snap this off. Ah, ah. You want to do a you want to do a, uh, a quick maybe five ten and then we we'll snap this off. Yeah, th like and then you'll go take a piss. And then I'll take a piss and we'll come back into the Patreon for our good good subscribers. Yeah, for sure. We could end it now. It's, no, no, uh, no, no, no. You got to give okay. the people what they want, what they need. That's true. That's true. Good man. Right. You got to get yeah. the fucking. You gotta give the fuck people on that one. What's the most innocent, what's the most non-threatening voice you can make? <clears throat> the most non-threatening voice? Yeah, something that like, even if you heard it, you know you kicked their ass. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to you. Give it to me straight. Hey man, how's it going? My, oh. Just my normal voice. Oh wow. Yeah, I could definitely <laughs> fuck this bitch up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Come shit, on, man. Dakota. That's not true. Well, you You've just been make more it... fights than me. Um, yeah, like years ago, I even, I'd probably get the shit kicked out of me if I got in a fight now. No, you're still riled up, dude. You still got a lot. You still got a lot in the tank. I got some got energy, but I'm completely out of shape. I would be fucked. No, but you got that, you got the rage in you. Boy I rage. Got that, I got that white boy rage. Yeah, you definitely have white boy rage <laughs> in your heart, in your soul. <laughs> Something that will never be cleansed, really. No. <clears throat> let Can't me try be touched. And, let, me, let me try and do a really... Like in non intimidating voice. Hey, you wanna f you wanna fuck with me? You can. You're allowed. You come over here and fuck with me. Let's see what happens. Fuck. Let's fuck. Let's fuck. Uh, would you like? Would you like to come over here and try and try your hand at fucking with me? Hmm? Because uh, <laughs> you're in for a fight, buddy. I'm just gonna like. I'm gonna warn you now. <laughs> You know what's funny? That it sounds terrifying to me. It almost sounds more <laughs> yeah, scary. <true>. <laughs> That's like so you find that you find that in your uh, crawl space. Yeah, exactly. You're just going for take a. You're just going to take a piss at night, and you hear, "Hey, hello!" And Jesus. you look in your crawl space, and there's a fucking dwarf in there, a skinny, like a skinny, malnourished dwarf with red eyes, looking at you in the darkness, and he's like kind of struggling to breathe, he's like. <sighs> Hey, you wanna, you wanna fuck with me? I'll come out. I'll co I can come out and fuck with you, <laughs> dude. I'm just trying to get a midnight snack. Please leave me alone. I'm just trying to drink my own piss, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. I won't mind you. Don't mind me. I mean, you, you imagine he's like, yo, dude, I'm just going for a piss. No problem, dude. He goes in the bathroom and lays on his back with his legs in the air and just pisses into his throat. <laughs> I think, I think I'm at the wrong I'm in the hey, wrong I, basement I don't want no trouble here I'm just taking a piss you gotta take a leak you, you, know, you do your thing <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna go next door and try to fight that guy he's not he's not as fucking weird as you you do you partner that's cool hey you come back if you want to take a piss with me <laughs> Oh my god! Yo, what so, is that Martian head on your like? Is that a reference to anything? Is it just a generic Martian? Space is the place by Sun Ra Orchestra, brother. No, I don't know what this is. This is. Uh, I, I feel like I got it at Canada's Wonderland when I was like thirteen. Cool. I don't know though for show sure, though. So if somebody know, so let no. me know. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna know because nobody see this. But <laughs> if nobody know, then no for show. Sure. If ain't nobody know, then make sure you know for sure. And that's life advice. <laughs> if ain't nobody know, make sure you know for sure. <laughs> that's good. It's actual real life advice. It's true. Yeah. If you're in a Figure classroom. Figure it out. And, yeah. Yeah. If nobody knows, fucking be the one to step up. Step yeah, up for your comrades. initiative. Step up for your comrades. Your comrade. Yeah, man. I, um, <clears throat> so at work, <laughs> the, I have a we like value our tools pretty well because tools get stolen all the time. And um, 
I we had this tool in our truck for like three Wait, years. Wait, fucking steals them like people off the street. No, other people we work with. There's crews of people and they're like, uh, hey, can we borrow this? Or they'll literally just walk in your truck and take a tool and not tell you. Yeah. And you'll never see it again. So ooh, I take pride in that. I, like, I don't like people doing that. Like if you let no. me know what you want, I'll give it to you. But if you take it, I'll take it personally. So we had this tool on our truck that somebody must have stolen and it ended up on our truck and it said Luke on it. <laughs> so it was an adjustable wrench named Luke. Okay. And uh, so clearly it belonged to someone named Luke. I didn't take it from Luke, but it it ended up on my truck, right? Mm-hmm. So we used Luke for two, three years. And we, instead of saying, pass me the adjustable wrench, we'd say, pass me Luke. You know, yeah. we grew attached to Luke. Hey, give uh-huh. me Luke. I need Luke. Give me the Luke. Give me the Luke. <laughs> <laughs> give me the fucking Luke. So we loved Luke, literally. It was, it was a joke for us. We loved it. It's just saying, give me Luke instead of give me the wrench. <clears throat> one day a couple weeks ago we had a couple new guys at the yard new guys, guys that have been working here for a while but they've been working out of town and this guy comes up to my truck and he sees me using luke and he goes oh my god i'm luke and i'm like huh <laughs> he's like i'm luke that's my adjustable wrench i'm luke and i felt like i had met a celebrity i was like what you're luke <laughs> i use fucking luke every day and he's like I don't know what to tell you. I'm Luke. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to shake your fucking hand. So I shake Luke's hand. I don't give a fuck about COVID, right? It's fake. Yeah. So I shake Luke's hand and it's, it's awesome. It was just, it literally felt like I met somebody that I had been, you know, someone close to me. Cause I, I grew attached to this fucking tool. And I was like, dude, you, I got to tell you, Luke has helped us through some fucking tough times. And he's like, yeah, man, that was the first tool I ever got when I started working here. And one of my friends took it from me and wrote the name Luke on it. And he would send me pictures every day of him, of him and Luke just to fuck with me, like to troll me, you know? And I was like, that's, yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, have a good day, buddy. <clears throat> and uh, so I come in after a weekend where people are working um, overtime and I look at my truck and Luke is gone. Luke oh, is fuck. gone. I need Luke because this is the, it's a heavy duty adjustable wrench and we need it to do one certain thing. And right. so we depend on Luke and I go up to fucking Luke, obviously. Right. And I go, Hey Luke. And he goes, Hey, what's going on? You like, and I go, I think we know what's going on. <laughs> I need Luke back. I need Luke back. He's like, really? And I'm like, yeah, you can't just take fucking Luke from my truck. I've been using Luke for three years. It's like a tool that I need. I'm like, you're in a regular pickup truck. I'm in a heavy duty ass truck. We need Luke. And he's like, well, it was a, it was the first tool I, I ever got. Like when I started working here, I'm like, yeah, well, it's a fucking inanimate object. It doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> so I'm going to need you to give me Luke now. And he's like, <laughs> literally, like, I was like, I just had no, I didn't give a fuck. And he's like, okay, all right. And he goes and he gets Luke and gives it back to me. And I just kind of swipe it from him. Fucking Thank scratch you. his name off it. I was like, thanks. Have a good fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I trot off feeling like I won, you know. Yeah, I think and you I won. Start, I start feeling bad throughout the day. I'm like, God damn it. This motherfucker told me this story about Luke and I feel bad about Luke. So we went to go pick up our old truck that we had been missing for about two months. And we go and we, and we go there and we find the exact same adjustable wrench. But it doesn't say Luke on it. It's just a blank ass adjustable wrench. And frankly, it's in better shape than Luke. <laughs> <clears throat> so I was like, you know what? Instead of keeping <clears throat> two of these fucking wrenches that are exactly the same, let's give Luke his back. Yeah. And so I wrote down on mine, Luke too. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day I go up to him and I'm like, I was like telling my parents about it. They're like, oh my God, he's going to fucking freak when he gets Luke back. He's going to love it. He's going to blow it's going to blow his fucking mind when he gets Luke back. And I'm like, I know, I'm right. I'm going to surprise him with Luke. You're going to be so fucking happy. And I go into work. This is crazy. I, I take the two wrenches out of the out of the bucket or whatever and I walk up to him and he's confused. And I go, "Here you go, buddy. Here's Luke back." He goes, and I'm like, "Look, I already made another Luke, so you can have your Luke back." He's like, "Oh, that's sick, dude. Awesome. Thank you." And he gives me a fist pump and walks away. <laughs> I mean, yeah, as he should. Like, I don't know what I, I thought he was going to be like. I thought he was going to start crying <laughs> and be like, "Dude, this is my first tool. I really appreciate that." He's like, "Yeah, no, no that's 
That's cool, I guess. All right, Thanks. see you later. <laughs> Bro, he thought I was a fucking loser for writing Luke 2 on my wrench. Yeah, he's like, why Why didn't you just write your own name? Because you, you're supposed to write your own name on your own tools. I don't... <laughs> he probably thought I was trying to fuck him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like to hear his side of the story, his version. <laughs> this gay guy took my wrench <laughs> and tried to give it to back fuck to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> he quit. This gay guy keeps writing love letters on wrenches and then fucking giving them to me. <laughs> love letter, a wrench story. It says genius on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love the callback, baby. All right, baby. That wraps it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope you uh, non subscribers enjoyed that story about a f- Luke the Wrench by Eli Gottfried. People are listening like, what? What is this? What am I yeah, listening what is to? Well, if you've gotten this far, you know exactly what it is. And you went through like 40 minutes of us talking about dolphin pussy to get to a story about a wrench. <laughs> and that kind of wraps it all up nicely. Yeah. Nice little bow. All right. So if you guys want to hear more, tell them where to go, Dakota. Go to Patreon, Butt Boys Comedy. Yes. On Patreon. Just type that in. Actually, no, not Butt Boys Comedy. I'm wrong. Butt Boys. Just Butt Boys. <laughs> Just nice type and simple. In, I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then sign it. up. Sign up. You know, it's dirt cheap to get an extra fucking half hour a week. And um, it's no holds bars, right, Dakota? No holds bars. That's barred. right, buddy. That's right. Yeah. So usually, it just, usually it just ends up being us Holds. talking about our feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People pay to hear us be all, uh, genuine. <laughs> yeah, we try to be tough and then it immediately devolves into us just being sensitive <laughs> and emotional and breaking down. Listen back to it, it's like, yeah, I'm really getting into men's fashion now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What do you think about personal hygiene? Do you use yeah. this kind of soap? <laughs> it's still something. You know what, though? I feel like a lot of our audience are, you know, incels. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's honestly probably likely. I mean, <laughs> hey, if you're one of us and you're a fucking dirty incel, tune into Butt Boys Patreon. We'll tell you how to clean yourself up. Get some pussy, all right? That's right.